Now, uh, I'm running out of time here, so the last thing I want to show you is uh, uh, the capability to deal with uh, mixed uh, uh, file formats or files, uh, source files. So I'm, I'm going to aim the Simulink timeline at uh, a couple of MPP files and at an Excel file, and it'll generate a portfolio view. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got a, a master project here, and, and this master project includes a couple of other projects. Uh, I'm going to select that, and I'm going to shift select uh, uh, another standalone project. So these are uh, two MPP projects, but I'm going to add to this mix uh, an Excel file. Okay, so I've got my master file, which calls in sub projects. I've got a standalone desktop. Uh, project, and I've got an Excel spreadsheet. And what we're going to get is uh, the results are going to be a swim lane timeline with three different swim lanes, uh, one for each of those projects. And uh, right now what it's doing is it's reading in all of the tasks, all of the custom fields. If this was an uh, uh, enterprise uh, uh, project with project server, it would read in your project task entity fields as well that were associated with those. Now I'm going to uh, turn off the today's date indicator here just because I did this project a number of weeks ago. And, um, and actually what I, what I want to do is I want to zoom in on a date range uh, going from like Q1 uh, to Q1. So I'll show that selected date range. And uh, maybe I want to change instead of using calendar year, Let's use a, a fiscal year, so I'll, I'll hide my calendar year first, and then we'll show a fiscal year, and I'll say my fiscal year starts uh, July 1st. And, uh, and now if I zoom in a bit here, you can see you know, Q4 is April, May, June, uh, FY 2009. Um, and perhaps you know, this is an important date here, this uh, public launch date. Um, perhaps what I'd like to do is let me add a date indicator. So we, we have automatically a today's date indicator, which you can show or hide. But you can also add multiple other date indicators. And you can actually set those to exact dates if you want. Okay. Um, and uh, it's, it's just a visual line segment. So you can also have text associated with that. So I'm going to go ahead and call this my launch text or my launch line. Uh, and notice, you know, it, uh, it has a white background by default. Uh, but let's go ahead and use Visio's text block uh, tool to actually, we'll rotate that. And uh, let's put it, like, right in here. And maybe I want to drop down the font. Um, and now I've got a, a nice little indicator there that my launch is happening right on this line and where I am against that uh, in all three of these projects that are coming from mixed data sources. Something else you can do here, uh, too, uh, is you have the ability to actually zoom in, drill in, on these projects. So let me right-click on that project. I'm going to drill in. It's going to create a new page uh, that's drilled into that master project schedule. And uh, you know, it, it's creating a default view here for me, but that's not the view I want. I actually have a style that I want to use, so let me go ahead and apply that style, and I'll get this in the way that I want it. But uh, uh, when it created this page, because it's a drill-in, it also creates uh, a multi-directional hyperlink, which is going to come in handy in a second here. Uh, there's one other thing I want to show you, and that is that not just a swim lane, you can actually drill in on a task. So if I click on a task, right-click, and drill in on this task, and I'm going to actually apply a style when, once it generates the page here. Um, so let me go ahead and, and, and do that and uh, apply this style, uh, page 3. So I'm going to have a, a three-page uh, report here. Uh, the first page is my summary of uh, 
uh, of all of the projects in this program. And the next ones are drill-in uh, pages that I want to share with my team. Now, I'm going to, let's say my team is using SharePoint 2010, and I want to share this with those hyperlinks so they can drill in. Uh, I'm going to actually save it as PDF, and I'm going to save it off to my SharePoint 2010 environment as drawing one. And, uh, and when I bring up Internet Explorer in that SharePoint 2010 environment, and I just have to log in here, you'll see now I'm in uh, 2010 in, in, this pro, uh, in this SharePoint uh, 2010 environment. I have my uh, uh, status report here, but notice I also have uh, my hyperlinks. So if I wanted to look and drill into my network master, or if I wanted to drill in on my uh, Contoso uh, smartphone launch task, uh, I can do that uh, and see my multi-pages uh, all within a web part that is uh, uh, embedded into my SharePoint site. And later on, if I make updates, um, all I have to do is go back into my uh, swim lane timeline here, refresh against my data, and then resave out to that same location, and it'll be updated for everybody. So, uh, pretty uh, nice, simple, easy uh, integration with uh, with SharePoint there. 